Hey guys, Triple G here. What is up? I am going to make a tutorial today on the low pass filters and high pass filters and basically what they are and how to use them. Um, first of all, you're going to definitely need to get your track. I've already I have a pre-arranged drum and bass synth track. Just uh, it's nothing even too serious, just a simple little very simple little beat and layout just so I can have something to, you know, test it on. Um, I also have the stereo, the stereo out on the arrange right now. Um, if you want to do that, basically you go open up your mixer, click on mixer, open it up, click on stereo out, go to options, create arrange tracks for selected channel strips. I already have that, and it'll it'll make this come up because you won't already have this up. Um, this is only if you want to uh, automate the whole entire uh. The whole entire project by itself. Probably should have said that before I went through that, but um, you can simply add the low pass filter to a single track or to the whole thing. The stereo has the whole thing, and that's what I'm going to be showing how to do today. Um, so first of all, I'm going to go down to Audio Units, Apple, AU High Pass. Now I'm also going to do the same thing with low pass, just because I'm going to be using them both. Now that I have them, I'm going to want to click A to open up the automation and go to the cutoff frequency of the high pass, bring it down to z to 10, I guess. Um, do the same thing with low pass. Actually, yeah, leave the low pass where it is. <clears throat> um now, basically, th what the low pass and high pass are doing, high pass is basically passing, um, passing over like all the. I don't, it doesn't make sense how it sounds, but the high pass is basically only playing the high stuff. So it's only the high frequencies that are passing through, I guess. Um, if you have high pass on, it's not going to play the low sounds, which what I'm about to demonstrate right here is the low pass and basically let's start off at like 10 it won't play anything um, start at 353 so that's basically what the low pass does um the high pass is the exact opposite if you guessed I mean it's kind of obvious um, Let's listen to it. So, like the low pass gives you the kind of like 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 that clubby kind of sound, and um, the high pass just gives you like a just like no bass at all. So, um, let me try to automate that real quick. Fix it up. screw that up now let's listen to that so um like I said basically the low pass is just playing only the low stuff the high pass is playing only the high stuff you can uh, automate that by clicking Whenever you open up the automator, it has that little bar right there showing you what your what the line you're automating is right now. Go up to there, go up to low pass or high pass, and choose cutoff frequency. You can choose resonance too. That's just gonna change the resonance, obviously. But uh, yeah, basically, there's, that's all there is to it. There's nothing much more. And um, let me go ahead and demonstrate. Uh, real quick for you if I would automate one of these if I would put it on one of these let's say drum pad drum uh brrr, drum sequence I guess you call it
pull it all the way down. Fix that real quick. The higher you go, it's going to sound really retarded. So I'd stay under around 5,000 hertz for the high pass. Unless if you want it to sound like... I don't want to say anything mean, but sound completely stupid. So, just to give you kind of an idea of what what that does, um, you can use that in some very creative ways, different tracks, different types of things. Helps out, um, especially for making electro. You can do a lot of different stuff. If you ever listen to Porter Robinson say my name, it's in that uh whenever right before it gets to that little breakdown part, the build up it has a lot of high pass and low pass. Um if you ever heard Harder Better Faster Stronger by Daft Punk, the very beginning they use a low pass. So you can think of some pretty creative ways to use this. Hopefully I helped you out. If I did please like this video and also comment any other tutorials you'd like for me to make. I have plenty of them that I can make. Um, I do GarageBand and Logic Pro 9. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace.